Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan here from GFX Port. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a grunge texture, a grunge background. It's a pretty easy effect. I used four images that I found from a free stock photo site. And basically, all I did was just blend them in using uh, blood, papers, uh, paper stain, and like scratches, like old film scratch type of deal stuff. Um, if you guys don't know of, uh, of a free stock photo site, you can also use Google and just type in free stock photos and you'll find the website and usually you have to sign up for them for in, in order to download them but basically I use these four images here that came out to this effect and you guys will get the images I'll provide them in the description of the video so basically you want to open up your four images once you get them so I'm gonna open up my four images as you see I got my four images I picked that's my stain paper my lines my dark blur and my blood so basically I'm going to start off with a new canvas here. I'm just going to do 600 by 600. Don't want to stress my card out too much right now. And basically zoom in. And first off you want to start with your stain paper and I'm going to press Control A to select it all and then Control C to copy. And basically just paste it in. And once you paste it in you can move it around but I think I'm going to stick with that because I changed all the image sizes to 600 by 600 to save some time on the, on the tutorial here. So I'm going to remove this background because I don't need that there. And basically what we have here is our stained paper. So now that we got that done, we want to start adding, we'll go with our dark blur. And you can paste that in. And I'm actually going to go with it coming from the right this time. And I'm going to change the blending mode to linear burn. As you see, it burns in that paper pretty good. You can also duplicate it. And then it burns it in a little more, bring down the saturation and well the opacity a bit. And you can merge those two layers together. So I did that now. And next I'm going to be using the lines. So I'm gonna press Ctrl A again and Ctrl C to copy. And I'm gonna go back to my layer here. And I'm just gonna paste this over top of everything. And now I'm gonna use this effect and go with linear light. I just see it adds a nice light effect to it. But as you see over here on the black, it's not turning it in that great. So you can also play around. You can try different uh, linear burns and stuff like that. But as you see that, it's not going to work at all. Vivid light won't. Actually, vivid light looks pretty amazing. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to stick with vivid light, but I'm going to check a little bit more here. Try pin light, hard light. Linear light is good though, but I'm just not liking this white over here. So you can get rid of that by simply busting out your eraser tool, changing the diameter of it, get this window out of the way. You just simply erase that out, stuff that you don't want scratches in. And there we go. Pretty basic stuff. Alrighty, so now my background is starting to grunge out a bit, but you see it is dark in the middle here. So we can take the opacity down of this layer just a bit. And now we want to add our blood layer. So I press Control A, Control C to copy again. Go back to my canvas here. Paste this above all the layers. And this time I'm going to add a screen. But I but I might actually go with a linear burn here too, because linear burn does look good with the white background. You see it adds those little blood stains and stuff. But actually, yeah, screen won't be good here because it's just going to keep it white. You can also try vivid light. It's going to bring out a lot of brightness in it. Even uh, linear light will do the, pretty much the same thing, but it's going to keep, it's going to hold that white background. Same with uh, overlay is actually pretty good effect here too. You can duplicate this layer. I might just leave that for overlay just to bring more brightness in there. And this time I'm going to go linear burn, and I'm just going to burn it out. Just drag your blood splats around, so you get blood pretty much everywhere on the canvas. Now you see all these square edges here, straight edges, simply just brush them out with the brush tool. Anywhere that you see square edges, just brush them out. And I don't think I see any square edges now. So as you see, this is what I got right now. I can join and merge all these layers, but it won't let me. Because I have different blending modes for this one down here. These two I might be able to join together though. No. Alright, so we're going to leave all the layers like this. And what I'm going to do 
now is merge all the layers together. And now I've got all the layers merged. I duplicate the layer. And now I'm just going to send a blending mode for this. And I might just throw a screen on it, bring, bring it a little bit more brighter. You can also try, even if you want to darken it more, you can try linear burn and bring the opacity down a bit. It's, it's totally up to you guys what you guys want to do here. I just figured I'd show you guys how to use some blending modes to create a nice grungy effect in a few seconds. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rate five stars and subscribe for plenty more tutorials.